Okay. Let me open this. Time starts when I restart. Okay. Let three, two, one, go. Time starts. Mario. Now I have to erase the file first. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I've already lost out on time because hey Mario, please come to the castle. I am very truly princess Toadstool. Earlier I should have copied file A over so then I could have just click file A automatically. In case you don't know what this is, Super Mario 64 Topaz Road is a game I have created. Mario one hit. <clears throat> so, no safe states allowed. There's 22 stars to this game. This pipe, interestingly, only turns up once you've got at least one star for some reason, so... Hmm. And this saying one thing, if you, if you want to play this um, game for yourself, I have a download trailer video. Oh, dear. Um, do not, uh, um, Bowser has disabled the ability to, um, save quit out of a level. No, pause quit. Ah, exit from the pause menu. So you're not able to do that. Or the game will freeze. Water into this game, you cannot get it in weird shapes, you just get it in um, boxes. So, I couldn't really, I had to make a texture there that you could walk through into the red water. Because if you, um, if I put water there, it'd have to be in a box so it'd come out of the area it was designed for. Oh dear. <clears throat> I will be doing multiple runs of this, so. so if this doesn't go well, which I don't think it, it doesn't look like it's going to go very well. of some of these stars and they go even those are quite bad oh dear oh yeah <clears throat> this is the hardest star in the game though so So it's okay if this takes a while because I know all the others were a bit easier. The, 
this is level three. The level two and three red coins though are very long, but they're not exactly hard. They're just time consuming. Ooh. Oh, come on. <clears throat> this is ridiculous. this star until the end of the run next time. Oh wow! <clears throat> I'm dead! Okay. Death counter? One! Ah, uh, I'm gonna add death counter, you know. I'm gonna edit a timer in after I've done this. So yeah. So the timer isn't going right now. <clears throat> but yeah. So it'll be coming in later. And then I'll put it in split screen so I've got the timer in the bottom right. And maybe the death count in the top left or something. good though is that because I've made this game I know where all the stars are so it's not going to be too hard finding them. Uh, as you can see by this I'm not a speedrunner. a shorter way of getting to this star. You're meant to climb up around the outside and get to it. But it's a lot quicker doing it this way, but it's more risky. Here we go. <coughs> and Tass, you can, I did Tass of that, you can get it in under 10 seconds if you quick. Mine was just over, I think. But you can do it in good time. No, we're not doing Lighthouse Challenge yet. This is the end of the run, as I've decided. stars in this game are very short and easy to get. The hardest is probably level 2's red coins. Star 6 sense by well, I really should have made through the water for star 6. But, uh, yeah, you meant to go around in a spiral, but you can just wall kick over the whole thing. But <clears throat> I hate wall kicking in rum hacks, you have to be so specific. Sometimes it's better to go the full way. Full way. I'm going backwards. <sighs> Anyone who wants to improve this, it's really easy to because this is going horrible. <clears throat> but at least this will be world record for a bit because no one else is running this game. Let's go back to the desert level and some quick stars in it. This 
two sandcastle stars and they're both pretty simple. But I hate that jump because you can, it only lives about one or two seconds, which is, it's going, the run's going bad so it won't really matter, but um, if you don't grab the star straight, it's hard to grab the star straight away because it's in a very specific spot, but <clears throat> that's a quite a simple star though, like I said the hardest star in the game is the Sandcastle and um, no the lighthouse. I got sandcastles on the brain now because I just read sandcastle secret sandcastle. So yeah. <coughs> oh this one. I did a test of this one as well. It wasn't that good. <coughs> I might be some soon. There you go, that was good. That was a nice quick star. <clears throat> it was good, that was actually one of the longer ones in this level, so I got that nice and quick. Which is good. I hate it when you miss those keys. <clears throat> yeah, I got the Into Tool 64 where you place all your items in. Um, I saw in the um, model model ID page there was actually the unused key. So there's, you know, in the Super Mario 64, there's five little secrets and they're usually invisible. Well, I I remodeled them so they're not invisible, but they look like these keys. I showed them off in level 1 in the release trailer of this game, but they're in level 1 and 3, but not in 2. And I don't want to know how many people are get fooled by this hole and going straight away without collecting the keys, knowing, not knowing that you have to collect them for the star to appear. Halfway through. I don't know the timer because, like I said, I'm going to edit it in later. Whoop! Oh, the run was getting better then, and I make that mistake. Right, this is risky, but it's a lot quicker than if you don't go. That's quicker than if you go the, the full way. <clears throat> you have to do that about two or three times in the run for recommended. If, so, to get the 100 coins, there's only 111 coins in this course. So you have to get a blue coin of some sort. <clears throat> and the blue coins are in this tree, so you have to come up here. Oh wow, come on. Oh yeah, and there's two stars in this tree. Oh my! Oh come on, this is just ridiculous. <coughs> Don't know why I chose to go back for it there, but uh, not cool. 
Yeah, I'm not going for 100 coins now, by the way. It's the it's the worst 100 coin in the game, but it's not too bad. It's a lot better than that lighthouse. <clears throat> that was a nice quick level entrance. Yeah, the intended way to get up to here is across those wooden beams you saw there. The arrows were pointing to them. The coin arrows. There we go. Why couldn't I have done that the first time? That's a tough jump, that is a tough jump, that one. Ah! The stuff is probably the hardest stuff in this level. Just because of the precise jumps you need to do for it. After a bit of practice, it's really simple then. <clears throat> oh, and in case you couldn't tell, I did retexture the stars, so they're a bit more yellow. Topaz were... So it passes a bit yellow in your range, I think. So. Oh, I keep, I keep forgetting that I turn... Oh, wow, I can't wait. Okay, for here, what you meant to do is climb these trees, but it's a lot quicker to do a wall kick from these, this side. But it's not always going to be able to get you up there. That was a lucky one because I didn't even have to grab on. I just went straight up there. Oh come on. Be quicker to do the trees at this way. I'm going to do another round of this one day, probably today, but this isn't good. Some of it's been going alright, but the rest of it's been going horrible. Oh, the keys in the trees. I like this straw. It's nice and relaxing. There's no real challenge exactly. I could not believe I got that. If you're lucky, you can do a triple jump over these, triple jump dive. And then you don't even have to grab onto the tree, but it's precise. Maybe I can do it on this final one. Yeah, there we go. Doing all of them, then that's a big time save. Because it, it, it saves time grabbing onto the trees. Seven stars to go. Okay, red coins and a hundred coins. This level has the best red coins in the game because they're all in one area. Yeah, I have to come this way because it's got ten coins and there's on and you can only miss eleven in the course. So it's a lot. It's less risky to go this way. 
point. I really should have put some more in because the second and third level have about 140 in them. Here's the most hidden five coins in the game. Because I um, originally that was going to be how you got up by that one, but that by that stick thingy. But then I changed it because it glitched out and things. Oh no! I have to get at least two. Of There's three coins that appear. So I need to get as many as I can. Preferably three, but two is okay. Oh, few, few, I've got all three. Now I've got a little bit of room to mess up, but not too much. It's a bit too high up to do a double jump kick. Jump once and set the box off, jump again and do uh, and kick and then you can collect all the coins before they hit the ground. I want to try and do that on this one, but it doesn't seem possible. <clears throat> it's just a quicker way to get more. That's fine. There's 16 coins in oh. there's 16 coins in total you can get when you collect all the red ones. So that didn't matter that I got four out of five from that box. <clears throat> and there's also a lot um six goombas. You need them for the coins. Coins, 200 coins in that lighthouse. I'm gonna get the um, red and 100 coins here. In the desert level, the, the coins just, red coins are just spread all over the level randomly. But not in this one, I put them all in these little, eight little stones. And there's also plenty of coins in the water, so even if I miss a lot, it doesn't really matter. <coughs> and one thing I'm doing here is I'm um, doing a little dive um, grab, underwater grab there, because it lets you instantly go up the rock because of the shape of it. So I'll do that here, because it's tall and steep, it will work very well when I go up quite quick. It's just a quicker way of getting up there. And it lets you stay on the ground for a bit more, which is where the coins are, mostly. So, it's quite helpful in speedruns. I don't think it's really going to make up for anything, because I'm really doing horrible. These I wanted to try and line up with the hole, but it didn't work out too well. Oh yeah. The water is just about one... It's about one, um... What's it called? I, I've forgotten what it's called, but it's about one thingy to, um, low to be able to do a... Dive? No, jump out the water and grab onto the sides. It's just a tiny, tiny bit too low. <clears throat> unit, that's the word. It's one unit too low to be able to um, jump out of the water, so... So you have to go up onto that little slope. <clears throat> I don't know why, but I'm punching the smaller box. 
sets off the um, punch in the bottom box sets off the um, taller box for some reason. On both sides, that is. <coughs> On Skellux, if you're watching, the um, Toad's Tool 64 is kind of broken. On the boxes, it says. Five coins, but it only gives you three coins. So you might want to try and fix that in the latest update if you haven't already. <coughs> I think in this level you can get a hundred coins without even needing the blue coins. You can actually, but it's on those pillars from earlier. If you saw the exclamation mark box, it contains ten coins but that's not needed because it, it takes a bit longer but you can get it if you want <coughs> this one I accidentally stretched the texture off and it went a lot higher than it should have done but I put a tree next to it and it makes it a lot better than it would have been if it was the right size so I'm happy about that now this is very easy to fall out the level, so I'm going to do some slowly. In case you're wondering, this box here contains a one-up. Just a little challenge if you want to start. make a desert level in this <clears throat> because if you think this is a good desert level all you do in the level importer you choose um, lethal lava lands music because it's the same as shifting sand land which is a great desert theme <clears throat> and you just create a flat plane of sand like I've done and then you just add little um, inside passages and it just in text room like I've done and it just looks like little um like tombs kind of and then also add some little pyramids around and you've got the perfect desert level and you've not really done anything. Also that's that double kick dive I'll tell you about. I hate it when you get stuck there. It takes ages to get out, but at least you're not stuck for good. <clears throat> this level, I think, requires the blue coins, but I'm not 100% sure. I can, go, I can easily just go into the level importer and have a look at any coins and blue coins if I want and have a check if you want. But <clears throat> it's not urgent to check. But of course, to get 100 coins, you want to get as many as you can. And um, this one, that's okay. Got six red coins. things up but this is non test and BOJ in this hard non test <laughs> I've not even tested it yet so I don't even know if it's doing any help <clears throat> this is 
very fun, actually. For something I've made, I've made levels in the past and it's all been horrible. But I've just made three now and they're all great. Put all the items in. This is a great little game to play, actually. I think it's really fun. <clears throat> and I'm not exactly Mr. Creator. I'm not, I'm not the best. <clears throat> I do agree it's a bit short, but... What? It crashed? Okay, save state and restart, and then reload. What? It crashed? Oh, there we go. Oh, phew. Phew! I thought I'd lost my progress then. <laughs> it just, I just had to go into um, little screen and go back. <coughs> scared then. That's about the second time it's crashed I think and I have no idea what happened. Happened in the lobby. Once I was just walking. just going to go to a level and it crashed on me. But then I, again I just um, save stated, reloaded it and then it was fine. So And then I went into the same area and it didn't crash again so. Was I playing for about 30 minutes or something maybe and then it crashes at that level. I've got no idea. <clears throat> oh, I, did a, I did a glitchy walk I didn't even mean to. But that's kind of impressive actually. <clears throat> oh, come on. I think you can see why this is the hardest star in the game. I'm dead. This is definitely that's the second death, then it's on the same style, so you can clearly see I'm not the best at climbing lighthouses. Just don't crash on me again, please. Usually if a game crashes there's a reason for it. In this game it just kinda happens when it wants to, but it's easy to get out of it. Maybe for the next track I'll re um, retexture the I'll retexture the um, life meter. Green Stars did it, that's a great game. <clears throat> oh and for all my upcoming hacks, I've um, I've um, learned ASM coding. So I'm not the best at it, but I can I can um, make, I made the wall kicks better so the camera doesn't keep shaking around. But in that um, pyramid bit, when I was doing those wall oh no. When I was doing those wall kicks, the camera kept going through the wall and it was annoying. <coughs> but no problems like that anymore because I can code it so it's different. The camera stays level with the way you wall kick. That's the intended way to get up, but it's a lot quicker to um, stay here, backflip. But you have to, okay. Backflip usually lines up quite well. Come to the back, backflip, and then triple jump. But it's not always consistent. Okay, four deaths. Why does it, it seems to maintain speed on a, when you restart a level from a slippery slope or something? And it doesn't let me walk it when I jump when I'm on the slippery slope, so why do I even try anything? Oh, there we 
we go, there we go. Oh, there's some time, whatever it says. Definitely not a good run, but not the worst. Well, it's the best victory, yeah. Because no one else has run it yet. But I'm the one You can tell me if you've run it or not. And like, if you like your time. And I just want to show you what happens now because the run's over, it doesn't matter what I do. So, time stopped. So. If you exit a level, this is what happens. Yeah, that's what happens, it just doesn't continue, it's Bowser's trap. So I hope you enjoyed this horrible run of mine, but it's world record, so how can I complain? <laughs>